Hey everybody, Jeremy here and welcome to another hotel room haul. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you guys all the cool things that I picked up over this past week, most of them being in North Carolina. And we're going to try to get through this while we still have some daylight. Now I'm also thinking about maybe doing some individual videos from the hotel room about some of these things just showing uh showing them in closer detail taking them out of the box and you know stuff like that since i'm gonna be here for a little bit uh so i might do that don't hold that to me but it is something that i'm thinking about so without further ado you will no longer be staring at the usb ports and ac outlets let's get started now of course when there's pops involved that's what we start with so here's the first pop yeah there we go. Let's move him down a little bit. There we go. I finally found the Beast Boy as the Martian Manhunter in what I think was one of the oldest looking Toys R Us's I have ever seen. I'm going to put a picture up here and you can take a look at this Toys R Us. Man, it looked old from the outside, but they were actually pretty well stocked. How ironic is that? So this nearly wraps up all of the new Teen Titans line of pops. Of course, here's the back and here's all the other ones that you can get. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And I have every single one except Raven as Wonder Woman, which I've said before. I've seen on many occasions, but I just never picked her up. I guess because I wasn't in such a good mood every time I saw her. And uh, <laughs> I kind of have to uh, cross my fingers and hope that I can find her now so that I can complete the entire team. So they had a couple of these at the Toys R Us. This one, of course, had the best paint. I really do like the decal right there on Beast Boy's face. Give him the little smirk with the little tooth. And uh, just looking at this, this Teen Titans Go, uh, it, it's pretty funny because, you know, I've got little brothers who look at Teen Titans Go. And I always think to myself, like, these kids will never, ever know what the real Teen Titans are. Not this funny, whimsical stuff that they see on Cartoon Network any, every morning, but I mean the one where Robin is just obsessed with killing Slade. You know, that's the Teen Titans that you need to see. But anyway, I digress. That's old man Jeremy talking. This is the first thing. Martian Manhunter, Beast Boys. The pop train continues to roll on. All right, so let's move on to um, yeah, this one is something I want to show you guys. I've been looking for this for a little while. So this is the uh, NECA Toys Dynamic Figure Stand. And uh, this is pretty cool. You know, it kind of looks like it came straight from the 80s. Um, but what this is, you know, it's just a stand so that you can display your NECA uh, scale figures with. And uh, this was only $10 at Toys R Us. And I only, had, I only saw one of them on the pegs. And I'm starting to see them less and less. So maybe people are just buying these things up. And then you can see right there on the back, um, it tells you everything that it includes. It has a desk stand, a suction cup stand, an adjustable support arm, and an arm extender. That suction cup stand can be really cool if you have, uh, let's say, like a six-inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man or something. You want to get him in a crazy pose and you want to stick him on something like a glass display or wherever you can uh, securely put a suction cup. That's going to be cool with that. So this is my first NECA uh, display stand, and I'll definitely want to see how this works out. I think for ten dollars, the number of options that they give you for displaying your figures is uh, pretty pretty good. So uh, I don't have any of these scale figures here with me right now, and of course these are a bunch of little pieces, and I have to travel with these for at least another week and a half. So I'm not going to open this one up, uh, not until I get back home. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how the figures uh, hold up on this. I do have a Superman action figure that I'm thinking I wanna use that for because you kinda gotta have a display stand when Superman's involved. At least that's what I think. Now here's something that I thought was pretty neat when I saw. This is one of the latest McFarlane Toys Color Tops figures and this is from Titanfall 2. This is Pilot Jack Cooper, which I have no idea who Jack Cooper is. I don't think many people do. Titanfall 2 is not out yet, but we know that Titanfall 2 is going to have a, more of a story than the first Titanfall had. So this is probably the main character. So um, in this Color Tops line, 
I thought that the first wave was just going to be for The Walking Dead, but upon further research, I learned that no, it actually includes some action figures too. So this is number eight from the first wave, which is the red wave. And some of the other characters in this wave that are not from The Walking Dead include Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, I believe. And I also saw him, but I didn't pick him up because, you know, it's Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, one of the Assassin's Creeds that the people like the least. I think it probably would have been better if they went with Altair or Ezio since, you know, those are the ones that people like the most. But for some reason, they decided to go with Connor. But anyway, I digress. So this character, you know, of course, he's not going to have I imagine he's not going to have very great articulation on him. But the detail looks really nice. I love the variety of colors that they have in this guy. Uh, looks like he's got a pistol accessory. Uh, he looks like he has his hand his right hand looks like he's going to be throwing a grenade i don't know i need to open him up first but uh, i'm really i really am liking this color tops line and i'm um, looking forward to titanfall 2 i enjoyed the first titanfall and um, hopefully the second one will be i'm pretty sure it will be better since it has more of a story and it's not just multiplayer bang bang shoot them up now here's something that i didn't think i would ever get but I did anyway, maybe because I was bored and lonely and needed something to do to pass the time. A Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors NECA figure of Freddy Krueger. So, of course, with all these NECA figures, you open up the flaps and then you can see, kind of, let's brighten it up a little bit. There's Freddy Krueger right there. And, of course, on this side, you got the inner flap that just shows Freddy. And then here... You see that he has uh, an interchangeable head that has the crucifix on it. That looks pretty cool. He's got the open shirt right there that shows the uh, faces of all the kids there. And you take a look at that. How creepy is that? That's really cool. That snaps onto his torso just kind of like how in the uh, Terminator 2 T-1000 figure, how his alternate torso just kind of snapped in. Uh, so that goes like that. He, of course, is going to come with his bladed hands, but he also has some syringe fingers right there and right there. He also comes with this little, uh, like, Freddy puppet type creature right there. Of course, his classic fedora and the little popsicle stick type of type of house. You know, a lot of accessories that comes with this guy, and he was twenty four dollars. Um, I'm not the biggest Freddy Krueger or Nightmare on Elm Street fan, but I kind of feel like I have to own uh, at least one Freddy Krueger, you know, figure. Uh, he's an iconic horror movie villain, you know, so um, I got to get a Jason. I got to get a Freddy. I do have a Masco Chucky, but, you know, another type of Chucky comes out, you know, even though I'm not a huge, huge diehard horror movie fan. You know, I think that is good to have figures of this guy, and he looks really good. So there you go, something to haunt your dreams. Man, you know what would be great? This probably would never happen, but um, it would be cool if the Simpsons line from NECA was still going on. They were doing, like, you know, uh, 25 of the greatest guest stars. It would be great to have gotten a Groundskeeper Willie version when he was kind of playing Freddy Krueger. That would have been a cool little figure to have. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. We only have a couple of things left. So let me show you this. I'm not too sure how well this is going to come out because this is a t-shirt that I picked up at FYE. There you go. It's from the New Day, WWE Tag Team Champions. Yeah, so I picked this up at FYE. I thought that this was a really awesome looking shirt. It's almost like it's like a it's like an NES box. It says the New Day Power of Positivity. New Day rocks Power of Positivity. There's their little logo and the official seal, <laughs> the official Bootios seal of quality. And of course, there is nothing on the back. I'm wearing my Seth Rollins shirt right now, but you know I love this. You know it's pixel art. It's awesome. It's the New Day. It's wrestling. I know a lot of people think that the New Day should give up the tag team titles because they had them for too long and they're not really um, the titles kind of being wasted on them right now. I kind of sort of have to agree. I think it's about time to move it on. It's probably going to go to Sheamus and Cesaro to help beef up that division since uh, since um, Anderson and Gallows were kind of relegated to being constantly defeated by the New Day and they have lost their 
they they lost their air of being like these badasses from Japan, like uh, like uh, AJ Styles did. You know, they they sank them below AJ Styles, and I kind of I don't want to see them end up in kind of like a mid card tag team limbo. So we'll see what happens with them. But along with the T-shirt, I had to get myself a big old box of booty O's because they make sure you ain't booty. So there was a special going on at FYE. Um, booty O's and the t-shirt, if you bought them together, like I did, then they ended up costing like $27 for both of them. By itself, this box of cereal is $12.99 <laughs> for a box of cereal. I haven't opened it. I, I don't know if I am. Maybe I'll open it one day. What's the date on this? What's the expiration date? September the 9th, 2017. You know, I'm going to have to open these and try them out. Not right now. Maybe when I get home, finish up the cereal and just keep the box, you know, but it is cereal. It's legit cereal and it's made with 100% positivity. It tells you how to dance like Big E on the side and get your, dry, your gyrating on, uh, let you create like a little mask right here, the booty corn, the booty booty corn mask uh, of course i'm not going to do that because you'll mess up the box oh man crossword puzzle here's some nutrition facts i don't know what these things taste like uh, i got a feeling that they probably won't be that great i don't know but i had to get them i think this novelty item along with that t-shirt 27 bucks why not why not so yeah guys that's all the stuff that i got so let's put it all back up there you go neck of dynamic figure stand titan fall two color tops jack cooper from mcfarland toys freddy krueger a nightmare on elm street three dream warriors beast boy as martian man hunter funko pop and of course the new day power of positivity t-shirt which you can kind of see right there but not really so yeah um i picked up all these things maybe within the course of a couple of days and i think it's a pretty darn good haul so now i gotta put all this stuff back in the bag so i don't leave any of them in this room so thank you guys so much for watching and um be on the lookout for any future uh videos Maybe in the near future, maybe, maybe not. I have to see. Maybe I'll show a little close-up of, uh, of this Titanfall figure so that we can get a better look at him and see what he's working with. Hopefully there's not too many twist ties and stuff involved so we can get through it rather easily and put him back in the box and not have to worry about losing anything. So we'll see. But thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.